Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. So today's topic was another one that was requested like many moons ago, and so I, of course I don't remember now who it was. Um, but if you suggested this um, this reading, then thank you, and I hope you enjoy. Um, today we're talking about what kind of future your person of interest wants to have with you. So this could be really for any kind of, uh, particularly like romantic connections, of course, um, although it doesn't have to be, but pretty much any type of relationship, any type of connection, we're gonna be talking about what sort of future they would like to see, um, where they want to see this connection go, essentially. So uh, we've got four, um, groups to choose from and representing those groups I have just a small assortment of um, witchy things that I had lying around so for group one we have this this is a little bottle of prosperity spray um, this is basically for attracting prosperity and abundance into your life and you would use this um, pretty much the same way that you would use like an incense um, but if you are sensitive to like smoke or you can't burn things in your house this uh, sprays are a great alternative basically you just give it a little squirt and it smells lovely it smells like cinnamon it's light it's very refreshing I dig it a lot I did not um, blend this myself. I got this from a fairly local metaphysical shop. Um, but anyway, that's for group one. For group two, we have this black candle shaped like a skull. Obviously, I have not used it yet. I'm saving it for a special occasion. So that's for group two. For group three, we have this little pouch of um, bath salts, again, uh, formulated for prosperity and abundance. This would be if you want to take a, a ritual bath. Um, it's got salt in it, which is like coming out of the little holes in this bag, so I've got salt all over my tablecloth now. Um, but that's group three, and for group four, we have this bundle of sage and lavender. Again, saving it for a special occasion. So, it smells nice too. Um, so, those are our options. Um, I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will get started. All right, group one. So I think we are going to start off with the golden tarot. Let's pull some cards and find out what kind of future your person of interest wants to have with you. So, okay, so first of all, we've got the two of cups coming out here. That's very promising. Ooh, that's too many cards. That is, again, too many cards. Can we just get one at a time, please? There we go. We've got six of cups, okay. Ten of Wands, Seven of Coins, Two of Swords, and the King of Coins. Okay. So we are just going to leave it at that for now and let's talk about these cards. So right away the two of cups here this card is um this is partnership this is union this is love this is also considered to be one of the soulmate cards as is the six of cups um 
there's creatures outside making a lot of noise. I have my window open because it's a nice day for once. Um, so hopefully that's not too loud. Um, anyway, so we have some pretty promising energy here. Um, it seems to me like you and the person that you're thinking about possibly are going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Um, and I say that because we've got the Ten of Wands and the Two of Swords here. Ten of Wands is something that is a burden. It represents something that really weighs heavily on you. Um, and the Two of Swords a lot of times indicates like indecision, um, somebody feeling stuck, feeling like they're locked in a stalemate, like they don't know which way to go or what to do in a situation. So we have this energy of feeling kind of stuck, feeling like maybe you are being faced with some kind of obstacle and you guys aren't really sure how you're going to overcome it or work past it. Um, I, I, I feel like that's really like the current energy of this connection, okay? So it seems to me like your person is really hopeful, is really optimistic about the two of you working through whatever it is that's blocking this connection right now, okay? Um, so I feel like, yeah, I just, I get this really strong energy of optimism, like, like, okay, things are kind of at a standstill right now. With the Seven of Coins, this card a lot of times indicates like a waiting period or like a period of rest, some kind of break happening. Um, but it also talks about potential, right? It's like, it's kind of like stepping back from a situation, analyzing things, and then like planning what your next step forward is going to be. You know what I'm saying? So I think your person is really hoping that the two of you are going to be able to work something out, work out what your uh, what your course of action is going to be moving forward. Um, it feels like this person really wants to have a future with you. We've got the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups here. Both of these cards have so much strong, you know, very loving, very pure, and wholesome kind of energy to them. Um, and with these both being soulmate cards, it's very possible that you do have a soul connection with this person, um, or, you know, they just feel very, very deeply connected to you, and they feel a real strong bond uh, with you, and they don't want to, they don't want to give that up, right? Um, the Six of Cups also talks about, like, memories, the past, nostalgia. It can indicate something returning from the past. So, if you happen to be in separation from this person right now, this is a sign that they may, you know, be wanting to come back towards you. They might want to sort of reestablish a relationship with you. Um, this card might also mean that they are kind of hoping for things to go back to the way that they were. You know, if things were better between you in the past, um, if you have a lot of good memories together, if you shared a lot of good times, and you, you know, you, um, you have history, this is telling me that they would like to, um, they kind of want your connection to go back to that. They, they want things to be happy and fun and, you know, they have a lot of nostalgia for the way that your relationship used to be and they want, they want that back. They want those good feelings back and they want to have good times with you again. Um... The Two of Swords here and the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, like I said, this is this represents a burden, something that weighs on you. Um, they want whatever this burden is, whatever is weighing on this connection, to be put down. So again, they're wanting they're wanting to work past whatever is blocking the two of you. Um, the Two of Swords also, you know, like I already mentioned, this is an inability to make a decision. Um, it seems to me like they are really wanting a decision to be made, okay? The decision that they're hoping is going to be made is, you know, that the two of you will make an effort to kind of um, work through work through this together, right? They, they definitely want things to 
they definitely want to um, improve this connection, I feel. At least in theory, you know what I'm saying? Um, for some of you, your person may not be in a position right now where they actually are able to invest adequately. However, they're hopeful that they will be able to do that eventually. And it's something, again, it, theoretically they would really like to see. Um, so I'm, think, I'm, I'm seeing this as like them wanting a decision to be made. They're wanting either to make the choice to come back towards you, they're wanting you to maybe make the choice to let them back in or to go back towards them. Um, it's like, right now they kind of feel like things are just kind of up in the air. Um, and they don't like that. They want things to, they want things to go into some direction. They want things to move. Um, preferably they would like for things to move towards, you know, this. Um, but in general, they're, they're just kind of, they're kind of, um, they're kind of over this, this stagnant, this stagnation, this, these uh, delays that you guys maybe have been experiencing. Um, in the King of Coins, this card really talks about like stability and commitment. This card talks about security. So this is telling me that similar to the Two of Cups, your person really wants to have a union with you. They want to unite with you or reunite with you, whatever the case may be. Um, they want to have stability. They want to have commitment. They, they want to have a connection where both of you are going to be able to feel stable and secure and safe and understood and have all of your needs adequately met. Um, the King of Coins is also kind of a fatherly energy, um, so it's possible that they would like to um, settle down and have like a family with you or have some type of familial, um, some type of familial relationship. Uh, so like if this is for the minority of you for whom this is not a romantic interest, um, this would just mean like they just want the two of you to come together and they want to establish or reestablish, you know, like a, a familial kind of bond. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, basically, they just want there to be consistency. They want to have... They want to be part of your life and they want you to be a part of theirs. You know, I'm seeing like, whatever type of connection this is, I'm seeing like, they want you to be someone who's going to be there, you know, at their house on holidays and whatnot, that type of thing. Um, they want to be part of your support system and vice versa. You know what I mean? Um, so let's see. I also want to pull out maybe a couple of Oracle cards. Um, just to wrap this up, uh, the gist of this reading, though, is like, I mean, this is someone who really, who really just, I think, wants there to be a resolution to a problem. They want there to be a peaceful resolution to a problem, and they want you guys to, they want the past to remain in the past, basically. They're, they're hoping for, um forgiveness they're hoping for yeah they just oh they just want to be happy with you they just want you guys to have a positive healthy relationship basically and for most of you you know ideally that happy healthy relationship would be romantic it would be you know like a partnership a union but it doesn't necessarily have to be. You know, they want to rebuild. Again, depending on the um, your specific situation, they want to build a relationship with you or rebuild a relationship with you. And they want it to be stable. They want it to be solid and secure, right? Going back to that king of coins, that earth energy. It's stability. It's balanced. It's not you know, it's, it's going to take a lot to uproot. So they want to build or rebuild a relationship with you that's going to be very stable and very secure and, you know, something that's going to last a long time. Okay? 
and they just want the two of you to have good times together and for a lot of you again I do see like a desire to have a family you know a desire for a marriage or you know at least that level of commitment the two of cups is is talking about that um This is like a really, this is a really like wholesome, pure kind of energy. Um, and I know <laughs> I'm already, I'm already hearing some of you saying like this person is going to have to do a lot of work in order for that kind of future to happen. And I think they're aware of that. Um, for some of you, your person, your person knows that they, they need to do a lot in order to make this type of future occur for you guys. Um, and Again, they might not be in a position where they're able to really devote time and energy to that now, but they they want to get to a point where they can. Does that make sense? Um, this is definitely someone who has a lot of love for you, and they may not have shown it very well in the past, if at all. But they, I think they want to make it up to you somehow. You know, they want to make it up to you by investing in you okay so um group one that's really all the messages that i'm getting for you guys today i hope this was helpful i hope this was interesting and i hope it resonated with you um thank you so much for watching i am wishing you all a very prosperous and abundant um September. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope I see you next time. Bye! Alright, so group two, those of you who chose the skull candle, um, let's see, what deck am I going to use? I think we're going to use, kind of keeping with the skull theme, the Santa Muerte Tarot. Um, Okay, so what kind of future does group two's person want to have with them? What kind of future does group two's person want to have with them? Oops. We have the magician first off. Oops. So the Magician is about manifestation. We have the Six of Cups. That's funny because um, Group 1 had the Six of Cups too, and it was it also came out as the second card for them. Oops. Ace of Wands. Five of Wands. The Chariot. Mm, that's too many cards. Can I just get like one, one or two more, please? Page of Pentacles. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that for right now. Um... Magician, like I said, this is manifestation. This is the creation of something new. Um, this card is also really talking to me of like teamwork, working together to build something. Um, I have a hair stuck on me. Okay, there we go. Um, so it really seems to me right off the bat, like whoever you're thinking about group two um, is really wanting to build with you is really wanting to create something with you um and i'm hearing like create a life create a life with you and that could mean like literally like having a baby <laughs> um but more generally uh i would say they want to build a life with you together you know what i'm saying so i'm getting real like life partner vibes from these cards um, the Six of Cups is also interesting because the Six of Cups does have an association with children as well. So I'm really feeling like this person 
definitely wants to uh, have kids with you, or at least a kid. Um, I feel like that's something that they think about a lot. Like, that seems to be a, a primary goal for them. Um, so hopefully that's something you're interested in. If not, then, uh, yikes. But anyway, this card also talks about nostalgia, the past. It is, um, one of the soulmate cards, so you very well could have a soul connection with this person. Um, in general, though, I just feel as though this person feels a very strong bond to you. This person definitely has a lot of love for you. Um, and I feel like this is just, this is a situation where they want to create happy memories with you. I'm seeing this as like, specifically for a lot of you, I'm getting this visual of like you and your person, um, they, them imagining the two of you, like putting up the Christmas tree, you know, in December, or decorating the house for a party, like a birthday party or something like that, doing very, you know, just kind of, kind of mundane, like, family type things together. Um, but, you know, I think for your person, it's really the little things. It's the little things that they're looking forward to that they would like to have. Um, you know, like decorating the house together, um, going out together, just even just like running errands. <laughs> like, I, I feel as though this is a, a situation where, or this is a connection where you and this person could have fun doing pretty much anything. So like, even in the grocery store, I'm seeing you guys like making each other laugh, having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this person definitely, I think, wants to have that, you know, life partner kind of relationship with you which is lovely. I love that. It's, it's, it's super cute <laughs> and it feels very, um, it feels very, uh, doable for a lot of you, very plausible. Um, like this is really something that is within your reach with this person. Okay. The Page of Pentacles, this is talking to me about commitment, this is talking to me about consistency, um, also attraction, but really, you know, the Pentacles, they have that association with Earth energy, which talks about stability and it talks about um, security, right? So with it being a page, pages are messengers, they represent communication or offers being made, um, and they also represent something that has a lot of potential to evolve. So. It seems to me like more than likely you and this person right now, um, even if you are in a relationship, it seems like it's still relatively, uh, something relatively new or something that hasn't really had a chance to, um, develop a whole lot. So like, for example, um, like if you have been together for a while now, this could be like a long distance thing. So you, um, you know, you have that blocking your ability to really start building with this person, you know, building a life together. Um, but this is something that your person wants. Your person wants to have more stability, more commitment. I think they want to take things really to the next level. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this person thinks about asking you to marry them or asking you to, you know, move in together. Um, and the chariot card is giving me a similar vibe. You know, this is forward movement. This is uh, also about facing adversity and overcoming blockages. Uh, so if there is something such as distance that is, or, you know, just circumstances in general that is blocking uh, this relationship from moving forward further, um, absolutely they are wanting to get past that. Like, they're wanting to, if there's anything holding this relationship back in any way, they're wanting to, it, it's like they're itching to get, to get past it. Because they are so, there's, there's such an energy of excitement here. They are so excited, I think, to create, to create the life that they want to live with you at their side. The Five of Wands is also giving me kind of a similar energy. Um, this card can represent conflict. 
uh, tension, fighting. However, in this particular deck, you know, it gives me a little bit of a mischievous energy. You know, we have this, this guy here. He's uh, got a match in his hand. He looks like he's about to light something on fire. Um, and he's just looking kind of devious and, you know, like, mm, I'm, uh, I'm about to cause trouble and uh, I'm gonna have a good time doing it. Um, so what I get from this card in this context is that your person really, I think, is just eager to light a fire under this light a fire under this connection, under this situation. It's like they just they just want to push things forward. They just want to get things really going. They want to get the ball rolling, right? And the Ace of Wands, again, it's very similar. This is a new beginning. This is like a fresh start or the beginning of a new chapter. And this card also um, talks to me about optimism and enthusiasm, hope for the future. Um, they want to enter into a new phase of this relationship, something more intense. This person also probably really wants to bone you. Um, yeah, this is, um, there's just, there's so much excitement and so much passion in these cards. And I would say, you know, you, the viewer, are quite lucky to have um, someone who's so excited and so excited about you and who believes in you so much. Because I think this is also someone who's extremely proud of you, extremely proud of the accomplishments that you've made in your life, extremely proud of who you are as a person. Um, it's, I'm getting a lot of admiration from this person towards you. Um, I want to pull out a couple of Oracle cards. We have here and now in the reverse. So this card um, in the upright position is pretty self-explanatory. It talks about the current moment, uh, maintaining your focus on the current moment. It can be a... Um, it can be a message that you may need to practice mindfulness, that you are a bit too caught up in the past or the future and need to be um, more focused on what's happening around you currently. Um, in the reverse position, it really talks about, you know, that um, sort of fixation on the possibilities, particularly in, in this reading. I'm seeing this as a fixation on the possibilities, what is to come. This person has so many plans, I think, for the future. Like, I'm seeing them wanting to buy a house together, maybe even build a house together. Um, this person is like wanting to wanting to move closer to you or move in with you this person is wanting to this person is wanting to like cook dinner with you every night <laughs> this person is wanting to lay in bed and just like be close to you and this person daydreams about that type of thing constantly i feel let me pull out one more of these cards see if there's anything that they would like to add. We have the never-ending story reversed. That's interesting. Oh, okay. So this card um, in the upright talks about uh, self-criticism. It talks about self-doubt. It also can talk about like being involved in drama. In the reverse position, I'm seeing this as like other people's mess other people's drama like affecting you so as far as how this relates to the future that they want with you I'm seeing this as a sign that possibly you or this person or both of you are really involved in like other people's messes right now other people's uh, other people's problems are affecting you guys. Again, it could be one or the other of you, or possibly both of you to some extent. Um, it just seems to me like somebody's current circumstances are, to some extent, holding this connection back. 
And what this is saying is that your person wants to break out of those circumstances. They want to get away from whatever that is that's inhibiting this connection from really moving forward. That's, that's inhibiting the two of you from manifesting this life that you, that they are wanting to have. Okay. So I'm getting like specifically for some people, um, there could be issues related to money. Uh, there could be issues related to living situations. You know, maybe someone is, <clears throat> has some kind of obligation to family members or like a roommate or something that's kind of draining them financially or something like that and preventing the two of you from uh, seeing each other a whole lot or you know living together something of that nature and they just they want to break out of that they want to get out of that situation or they want you to get out of that situation so that the two of you can really start your life together properly does that make sense? Um, so pile two, I think we're going to leave it at that. That's lovely. Um, again, lots of family energy with this, uh, this reading. So I really feel like this is someone who is maybe a little bit traditional, um, in the sense that, you know, what they want is just, they, they just want to have a relatively simple life, but they want you know, they want the two of you to be happy together. Basically, that's that's really what's at the root of this message. Um, and it's also possible that they want to travel with you too. The chariot, I, I totally, um, this uh, aspect of the chariot card totally slipped my mind initially, but this card can indicate travel as well. So I think for some of you, your person also really just wants to like see the world together. Um, and then once you're done that, then you guys can, like, build the house or buy the house and uh, have the baby, right? So, um, pile two, that's your, that's your reading. That's lovely. Um, I hope it resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye! Okay. All right, so group three, bath salts pouch. Stay there, okay. Um, what kind of future does your person want to have with you? I think for you guys, we're gonna use the wild unknown tarot. What kind of future does group three's person want to have with them? So right away we've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card coming out. We have the Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. Two of Wands. And the Two of Swords. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a couple of clarifying cards, um, particularly for the Two of Swords and the Page of Swords. Okay, there's the Nine of Swords. That one had flipped over when the Two, uh, two of Swords fell out. And let me get one more. right away um, the energy that I get with this is that it seems to me like things are somewhat tense between you and your person that you're thinking about currently um, 
and it's interesting because pile one or group one's uh, energy was kind of like that too. I got the impression that things between them and their person of interest were also a bit rocky um, at this time. However, this energy is a bit different. This feels like it's a bit more intense. Like things are a bit more serious. You know, the um, whatever difficulty you've experienced with this person seems to be more severe. Um, and I do get the impression that there's probably a lot of distance between the two of you right now. Uh, you might even be in separation. So, okay, we've got four swords cards here. And, you know, the swords in general have a very unemotional energy. Um, they talk about rationality, practicality, they're very cerebral in nature, um, not emotional. They talk to me about distance, okay, emotional distance. And they also can indicate something being cut off or cut out, because they have that harsh, kind of jagged, cutting, you know, uh, vibe to them. So, and, and also the Two of Wands here in this particular deck especially, I, I see this as like two people kind of going their separate ways. These two wands are running perpendicular, or no, parallel, parallel to each other, that's the word. Um, you know, based on our perspective, eventually they will cross paths here in the distance, but they haven't yet. Um, they're just kind of running alongside of each other, doing their own thing, following their own paths. Eventually they will meet but right now they're they're separated so i feel like you and your person more than likely are in some some degree of separation um you some of you might not even have spoken to this person in quite some time so okay it seems to me like this person does want for there to be like a fresh start here in this situation. I feel like they would like to cross paths with you again. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, this is cycles, this is movement, this also can talk about, you know, something being completed, something ending, and then something new starting as a result uh, to take that thing's place. And uh, the Judgment card is about awakenings, rebirth, restoration. Um, judgment is like a very heavy, intense energy of change, okay? So, yeah, it, and, and the white dove here on this card, this is talking to me about peace. This is talking to me about something being resolved. So I feel like um, the message I get for most of you is that your connection to this person kind of came to an end. I feel like somebody cut the other person off or, you know, may, it may have been even a mutual agreement to just kind of, you know, leave things alone. Um, I feel like this happened as a result of some sort of conflict or disagreement and now your person that you're thinking about is wanting to kind of bring this period of no contact, this period of separation to a close. I think they're wanting for there to be a resolution. I think they're feeling really a lack of closure about this situation. So um, it seems like, yeah, they, they want to feel a sense of closure here for some of you, that's all that they really care about right now. Um, just kind of maybe having an opportunity to talk. You know, the Page of Swords um, in the Page of Pentacles, pages are messengers. So they do represent communication. And we have four swords cards, which in general also are strongly associated with communication and clarity and insight. So it seems to me like your person would like an opportunity to maybe talk to you and sort of like 
I want to say close this chapter of their life because it feels to me it feels as though they see this connection as a, as a bit of a loose end something that was never really adequately addressed and it's kind of been bothering them and so they would like to see it resolved they want to see it tied up neatly they want to get a sense of closure um, and like I said for some of you I think that's all that they really want for others of you though it seems to me like your person you know with these two pages being here this card um, or these two cards they do talk about something something kind of just starting out something that does have potential because the pages are the first of the court cards right so for some of you i do feel as though they would like to have a fresh start not only um address whatever has been left unsaid but also have an opportunity to kind of start fresh you know very tentatively um i think they would like to reestablish communication and they would like for it to be somewhat consistent with the pentacles here um yeah a tentative uh i think they would like to tentatively move forward with you um and kind of see kind of just to see where things go you know what i'm saying um they don't want to get too close too quickly because they might be fearful that it could lead to further issues. But I think they would like to get close to you again and just kind of see where things go, see what happens, you know? They do seem to have a lot of anxiety about this and they seem to be very on the fence about whether they should actually uh, initiate that or not. Um, you know, the, the image on this card, the sun here is like, there's like an eclipse. So it's kind of like the path forward is unknown to them. They can't really see a way forward here. And so they're just sort of stuck. Um, so whether or not they actually initiate contact with you or they actually you know initiate any kind of reconciliation or attempt to reconcile is a little bit undecided still for many of you but i do see that you know your person would like to have some closure and for some of you you know start fresh and just kind of see where things go and take it easy um let me pull some oracle cards here. That's too many. Let's see if there's anything that they want to add. We have the tribe card. Yeah. Um, tribe card is about, like, a lot of times it represents soul family, um, which you may have a soul connection with this person because we do have the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment, um, which a lot of times come up in those types of situations my uh okay there we go my skull was like trying to jump off the table so anyway um let me get one more of these we have not for you okay the tribe and not for you. So, like I was saying, this card a lot of times is associated with soul family. It also talks about like feelings of belonging, feeling as though you found a place where you fit in. Um, uh, this is kind of emphasizing that message that for some of you, your person, I think, really would like to um, reestablish some kind of relationship with you. Uh, for most of you, it seems like they, they aren't really looking for a romantic connection at this time, but they do feel, they do feel like they're missing out with you not being part of their life really right now. 
um, because they do feel a connection to you. They do feel like you kind of, it's almost like you're the, uh, you're their kind of person, you know? It's like, that's kind of how they feel about you, and they feel like it's really a shame that things have not turned out well between you, and so I definitely do think that they would like to fix things. Not for you, though, is telling me that they are, again, kind of, uh, hesitant about this. I feel like they, again, this is really talking to me about, you know, they, they don't really, they aren't really looking for anything romantic. They aren't really looking for anything like super close or intimate at this time, at least, because they feel like that's, feel like that would be pushing their luck or it's it's just not something they're looking for at this time um but I do I, I definitely feel like this person wants to be in touch with you again if nothing else then to at least find some closure um but for for a lot of you I do feel like they want to reestablish, you know a friendship um they just kind of I feel like they want to keep in touch with you because they do care about you as a person and they do feel some hopeful that maybe later down the road you will um, have a better relationship and potentially it could move into a romantic direction. But right now they're not really, they don't really, um, they're not trying to get their hopes up about that. They're just kind of trying to, um, they're thinking like, just, you know, take it slow, see where it goes, see what happens. Does that make sense? Um, so that's what I'm getting as far as what your person uh, would like to, um, what kind of future your person would like to see with you, group three. I hope this resonated. You enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And lastly, we've got the lavender and sage bundle. Smells really nice. Okay. Let's see, what deck am I going to use for you guys? I've used a different deck for each group so far. How about... The Kawaii Tarot. Alright, so, group four, what kind of future does your person want to have with you? We've got the Empress. And the Emperor. Interesting. Counterparts. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Judgment. The Chariot and the Seven of Cups. I need to pull out a couple more. Two of Cups and the Hermit. Okay. Alright. So I did pull out more cards than I did for uh, the other groups. But that's just because I feel like... Feels like this situation is a, maybe a little bit more complicated than the others. So right away, the Emperor and the Empress, these were the first two cards to come out for you guys. And these two cards are counterparts. Whenever counterparts show up in a reading, particularly any kind of relationship reading, I see this as a union. Okay, I see this as a union and I also see it as a sign that there may be some sort of soul connection at play, which Judgment is another soulmate card and so is the Two of Cups. So. Um, I feel like, you know, there is a lot of possibility, a strong possibility for that, but also I feel like your person just feels extremely connected to you, very, very, um, 
affectionate towards you. These two cards are telling me basically that your person would like to be united with you. Um, I feel as though, you know, this very well could be indicative of like a desire for there to be a marriage or, you know, at least um, that kind of long-term commitment. I feel like you and this person more than likely are not in a relationship currently. You know, you're not like in a committed relationship currently. Um, you maybe have been talking to this person for a while. Um, and I feel like a lot of things have happened between you. Like even though you, uh, even though I don't feel like you're together, maybe you've been friends for a while or you've just kind of been casually talking to each other for a while. The Two of Cups is another card that can indicate, you know, a union happening, a marriage potentially. So, and also the Ten of Pentacles, this card is really strongly associated with like family, the, you know, a happy home, um, stability and commitment and this energy of security. So I am getting really strong like marriage and domestic vibes from this person. So I feel like this person really would like to have that type of relationship with you in the future. It's almost like they want to... Okay. I'm getting like this person wants to have you. And I'm like, I'm hearing that phrasing specifically. They want to have you. They want to keep you. The Hermit card here a lot of times represents like withdraw. Um, it can indicate somebody isolating themselves. Um, in order to like reflect on something or do some kind of inner work. In this particular context though, it's kind of like, it's kind of like they want to have you to themselves. The Seven of Cups implies to me that this person has thought a lot about a future with you. This kind of has a daydreamy uh, quality to it. So, you know, I see this as daydreaming, as fantasizing, as kind of like creating a life together in their mind. Um, and I'm seeing this as them wanting to make their daydreams, make their fantasies about you a reality. Okay, and these aren't necessarily, you know, sexual fantasies. I actually don't really get much of a sexual kind of energy at all from these cards. Um, romantic, uh, yes, and familial, yes, in the sense that I think they want to have, I feel like they want to have a family with you or they want to be, you know, have like a life partner relationship. Um, but it's interesting that this is, this is an energy of like, I want to keep this person. I want to have this person. It's almost like they want to keep you as like a pet or something. <laughs> um, which, depending on your interests, that may or may not be a good thing. Um, judgment gives me an energy of like control. And so does the emperor. You know, the emperor is a figure that is very authoritative, likes to be in charge of things. And in this case, judgment is also kind of giving me this, this impression of like someone... Some, someone wanting to be in control, someone wanting to be calling the shots. So I kind of feel as though this is a somewhat domineering person, not necessarily in a bad way. Um, oh, okay. So this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but for some of you, I'm getting that there is a kinky aspect to this. <laughs> um, I don't want to go into too much detail about that, though. If that applies to you, then you'll, you'll, you'll know, obviously. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. 
So there definitely is a strong desire here for commitment. The chariot card is about forward movement. This card also speaks of travel. I feel like this person really wants to kind of show you the world. I feel like they want to take you places. I feel like they want to um, see things with you, have new experiences with you as well. Um, go to other countries, other states, other cities. Um, and really explore. I'm getting, I'm hearing the word exploration. Um, exploring new things, like literally, like new locations, but also exploring new things in other ways, like personally, um, like having new experiences together. For example, new experiences like of a sexual nature <laughs> kind of going back to that um kinky kind of energy so it's almost like this person wants to help you to broaden your horizons in every sense of the word or every sense of the phrase um this is fascinating. I've never really gotten an energy quite like this from a general reading before. Uh, so I hope this resonates with y'all. <laughs> um, this person's, this person feels quite protective of you. And this person kind of feels as though they they have an obligation to protect you, to keep you safe, to provide for you to some extent. And that's not to say that they don't see you as capable of providing for yourself or protecting yourself, but it's just, you know, it's that, it's that feeling of like, this is my person. They feel like you're their person. And they just want to, they want to do everything for you. And they want to do everything with you. Interesting. Page of Pentacles. Pages do have kind of a, somewhat of a childish energy to them. So I do feel like they, they kind of see you as someone who... Maybe you you are very in touch with your inner child or you have some childlike qualities and they, I think they see that and they really like that about you and they want to kind of foster that part of you. They want to nurture that side of you that is a bit more childlike or is, you know, somewhat innocent or whatever. Um, let me pull some oracle cards as clarifiers here. Let's see if there's anything that they want to add. We have building blocks reversed. That's too many cards. And we have clean it up. This person feels as though you are maybe devoting too much of your time or investing too much in things that are not serving you because this card really talks about like doing away with anything and everything that's not serving your highest good you know it talks about cutting out toxicity negative energies negative relationships all of that kind of stuff it seems to me like they want to help you to clean up your life basically and again, it's not, that's not to say that they don't see you as capable of doing that yourself, but it's, they want to help you. And this person's energy does feel a little bit, just maybe just slightly um, patronizing, but I don't think they mean for, I don't think they mean to be that way. So what this is telling me is that from their perspective, you have things going on in your life that are not maybe, maybe aren't good for you. And you may know that, okay? So for some of you, you're, you're well aware of that. And this person wants to help you clean those things up. They want to help you get out of those situations, remove yourself from those relationships or those circumstances, whatever the case may be. Um, and building blocks reversed, I actually... 
Let me look really quickly at the book for this card because I don't remember what it means typically in the reversed position. 28. Okay. Oh, okay. It's kind of saying a similar thing. Let me read it to you. Um, it says, now is the time to address the cracks in the foundation of your life. Perhaps your values have changed and it is time to strengthen your convictions and let go of things that are no longer serving the vision you have for your life. So very similar to what I was just talking about with this card. Um, this card is also kind of giving me um, this energy of like wanting to teach you things. I feel like they want to teach you things. Kind of um, similar to the chariot, it's like they want to show you. They want to show you the world. They want to show you... They want to give you new experiences and show you new things and maybe help you learn more about yourself. So this person, to some extent, almost feels like a parental figure. However, I think for most of you, they're not really a parental figure because we also have this, you know, you know, romantic kind of energy and sexual kind of energy, which I know I mentioned, like, at the start that I wasn't getting a strong sexual energy, but I, looking more into the chariot and, like, the judgment card, it's um, become a bit more apparent to me that there is that, 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 that does exist here. Um... So this is very much like, I feel like this person very much wants to kind of create a life with you. Um, this person, I feel, wants to be your life partner. And I'm not really getting, for most of you, I'm not really seeing a desire for children. I'm seeing more like they see you almost like a child. And they want to take care of you. Like, they want to take care of you, they want to provide for you, they want to protect you, and they want to teach you things. So it's it's fascinating. It's a very, um, the energy of this connection has this interesting duality. Like this partner energy, but also this provider and teacher kind of energy. So that's interesting. Um... You know, this is a general reading, but I feel like this is perhaps for a smaller number of people than maybe the average general reading. Um, so hopefully this resonates with you. This was interesting. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I hope this resonated with you guys. If not, I apologize. Maybe try a different uh, group if you felt drawn to any of the other options. Um, maybe watch those instead. Um, but in general, just take what applies to you, um, take what sounds right, and leave the rest behind. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I see you next time, guys. Bye!